Good morning, folks. Current Earth facing Corona Hole doing its rabbit from Donnie Darko impression. We're going to come back to this big guy and its earthly effects. But in today's news, we'll be looking at earthquakes, earthquake news on the southern Eurotectonic movements relating to Italy, peeking in on the Gulf Stream, and the weather. But let's begin, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com. We're going to find the big Corona Hole is taking up most of our focus. Now, you will see a tiny pop just to the right of the Corona Hole. Thin filament snap is the official diagnosis, but can't help but wonder if that was really just the rabbit flipping us the bird. Anyway, that was it in terms of eruptions, with the sunspots being few and sitting alone on a vast sea of plasma. We've had no solar flares as we're back to flatline readings and nothing concerning in the solar wind either. Purple, particle speed is dropping out, and the geomagnetic situation is calming too. You might remember we have been in a large earthquake drought for a week, expecting an uptick over the weekend due to IMF influence here, and while the latter occurred, an end to the former did not. Yesterday's largest rumbles were a 5.7 north of New Zealand and a 5.8 in the southwest Indian Ocean. Coming to look at the last seven days, those two plus the one in Tonga we saw yesterday mark the top three shakes of the last week. So back on the 21st, PNG shook hard, but in the days that followed, we took nothing above a magnitude 5.5. Here, as the coronal hole faced us this weekend, uptick unquestionably afoot, but yet not cracking into higher magnitudes. Wouldn't be great if that continued. But we're moving on south of Australia, where a slightly smaller earthquake shook the south magnetic pole. For those who don't know, the magnetic pole shift has the north about to enter Siberia, while the south pole has already left Antarctica south of Australia. If you have not taken the time to run through magneticreversal.org, let me say it's probably the most important big picture free resource that you guys have. It is literally peppered with links to learn more and verify the data, and when you get through that, it's time to learn about the effects over at earthchanges.org. But we're moving on now because tectonic shifting beneath the sea floor east of Sicily are steady and concerning. Even though they've clocked movements at being relatively slow, the nature of the movement is that which builds up tremendous stress beneath Italy and Greece. More big events are coming in the years ahead. Quickly peeking in on the Gulf Stream, for those hearing extreme things about it, yes, it is weakening and a bit in trouble, but no, it did not stop and is still pushing warmer waters into the North Atlantic, although true enough, some of the temperature anomalies driven by the stream used to get much further north. Up next, we have the Weather Channel's February outlook. What can I say? February already isn't fun in the Midwest and Northeast, and it's going to be even less fun than usual this year. Some of that isn't waiting for February as more snow descends there from Canada at the faint blue while the earth spot we're eyeing for later this week approaches the west coast. Across the pond, we're concerned about the south swinging convergence on the North Atlantic low. It's going to be coming over the UK and Western Europe. Eyes open. Down under, that cyclone is heading west, but the system to which it was connected in Antarctica yesterday is going eastward and will reach southern New Zealand in a few hours with its convergence line. Folks, we briefly sold out yesterday for the April conference, but with cancellations and a quick room setup change, I was able to toss 34 more up there. Five disappeared overnight. I'm trying to keep the window open for those of you emailed me saying you had to wait to register. It's feeling like an Atlas task at the moment. We've got Asia, Africa, and South America on the wind map, and all school global run and shots of our star to close. It's 4.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.